This is the next part of the turning $1,000 to $100,000 flipping cars. In the last video in this series, you saw that we bought a 05 Nissan Altima for only $1,700. It was a great deal for it, but now in this video, we're gonna be covering exactly what it takes to get this thing ready for sale. Make sure you follow along, and I hope this is inspiring some of you guys to start this journey up yourselves as well. All right, guys, let's get to it. What's up guys, this is Jamal from Flippin' University. In this channel, I help people without needing much mechanical experience go from amateur to expert flipping cars so that they can build a life of freedom doing whatever they want, whenever they want. And I'm up bright and early to get this thing going. And for the people that didn't see it the last time, this is the car right here, it's a 05 Altima. It doesn't need too much work, but there is a couple of things that we have to get done before we post it up for sale. As you can see there, the door handle is broken, so we're gonna have to get that fixed. There's a dent on the side there, so we're gonna have to pop that out. And on top of that, the check engine light is on, but it's for something really simple, which is just the O2 sensor. And again, with this series, I'm gonna be covering things that you guys could possibly get into without much mechanical experience. The first couple of cars that I got was cars that you can get that mainly just needs a detailing job, which could be something that you can start off with yourself. And as time goes on, you get a little bit more comfortable with fixing cars, possibly. Then you can get into jobs like these as well something like an o2 sensor you could probably knock it out in around 30 minutes or even less same thing with switching out the door handle it doesn't really take much mechanical knowledge you could easily just go on youtube and figure out exactly how to do it now the first thing we're going to be starting up with is changing the oil when i checked the dipstick it looked like the oil was pretty dark so i could tell it needed to be changed soon so i'm just going to knock that out real quick just to give it a fresh start and just as a real quick thing as well this channel is primarily to show you guys how to flip cars and to possibly inspire you to start yourselves as well this is not a structural video of how to do every single job there's plenty of other channels on youtube that cover specific jobs like that but just putting it out there in case you're wondering why i'm not going a little bit deeper into each job ah uh, great one annoying thing is right when i'm trying to record this video these guys are over there doing housework perfect timing all right i have all the oil drained out i also changed the oil filter and now i just jacked the car back down i'm gonna fill it up with some oil i changed out the oil filter as i said and i got the oil here i got them both from walmart for around 22 bucks and as a quick reference i bought this car for 1700 bucks but i sold the last car for 2500 so we still have a good runway of money that we could use to fix this thing up as well all right i just popped the oil in there it didn't really take me much time to do it probably like 10 to 15 minutes honestly for most cars unless you have like a bugatti or something like that changing the oil is going to be a pretty simple thing so definitely do not be afraid to do that if you've never done it before now the next thing is going to be changing the o2 sensor and this is another very quick fix. I don't even have to get under the car for this one. That's the O2 sensor right there, linking up with the cable. The replacement one for this I got from Amazon. It was only around 20 bucks. Again, this should also probably just take me like five to 10 minutes. It's a very quick and easy change. All right, I just changed the O2 sensor. And as you can see, the check engine light is gone now. Yes, I do have to put some gas in the car. Don't worry about that. But on to the next thing. Now, the next thing is getting to this broken door handle. The job for this usually isn't too bad either. I'd say this is probably gonna take me like 30 minutes. You usually have to take off this whole back panel, which honestly is a little annoying. It would be nice if they made it where you could just access it from the front and take it off, but it is what it is. It's still not that big of a job. Well, I just took apart everything to get to that door handle. It's crazy how much you have to do just again to take off an exterior door handle. But I have the old one here and the new one right there. I'm gonna swap that one back in. And there we go, good as new. For the door handle, I got that from Amazon as well. That was also just over 20 bucks. And now the last thing is just popping this dent out right here and then we'll be going to detail in the car. And for this, this is actually in a great spot where I could just reach from behind it and pop it from the other side. Yes, there's a little crack right there, but truthfully, it wouldn't make sense to replace the whole bumper just for that little crack. This price range is not gonna change up the value of the car too much. The person that's buying the car for around this price range is really not gonna care too much about that one thing. And what I have is some hot boiling water just to make the plastic a little bit easier to mold. So I'll be pouring this over it first and then coming from behind it and popping it out. And there we go. It's not perfect, but it's definitely looking a lot better. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do before I detail the interior of the car is just restoring the headlights. So first, I'm just gonna wash them down, dry it off, and then I'll come behind it with the ultra cut compound. And then I have a drill with a buffer attachment on it. I'm gonna go over it a couple of times and then wipe it off. And this is how one light is looking. It's definitely looking a lot better than the other light over there. All right, now that we got both the lights done, we're gonna go over to the car wash and get to detailing the car. All right, so there's a lot of people here at the car wash, so I'm not gonna be able to go outside and record that much. 
But I'm gonna be doing the same thing as the other cars. First, I'm gonna take it through the car wash, wash the exterior, and then I'm gonna go on to doing the vacuuming first, getting all the loose stuff out. And then after that, I'll be going on doing the interior trim detailing and all that stuff. All right, now that everything's vacuumed up, we're gonna be using the interior detailer to, to clean everything up. I always like to start off with the brush first to get deep rinse everything. And then following it off with a microfiber towel after. I'm also gonna make sure I get into the small details like the vents, make sure they're not pumping out a bunch of dust. All right, and now that the interior is nice and clean, now we're gonna get over to cleaning these dirty seats. And to be honest, they're really not that bad comparing it to some of the other cars we've cleaned. So it's not gonna be too extensive of a process. First, I'm gonna be using this to spray over the top of it. Then I'll be scrubbing it down. And again, if you guys do not have a drill at this point, I don't know what you're waiting for. You gotta get one. There's so many things that you could do with it when it comes to flipping cars. We used it on the headlights and now we're gonna be using it with the scrubbing attachments to scrub these seats. And then after that, we'll just be following behind it with the microfiber towel. And that's the last thing, getting the car ready for sale. Now we're gonna go off the block and take some good pictures before it starts pouring. And that is everything, guys. We got everything ready for sale. I'm posting it up and I'm trying to sell it around $3,000. We'll see how much it sells for and how quickly it'll sell for. Hopefully there's not gonna be too many people wasting my time. And for the people that are new to this channel and that have made it to this part of the video, I wanna give you guys something for free. I put together a 10 simple step checklist where I'm covering some of the steps that I used just like when I bought this Nissan Altima. You could download it onto your phone and bring it with you for every car you're gonna check out. And on top of that, at the end of this month, I'm also gonna be dropping something exclusively for the people that signed up to get this checklist. It is going to be very big for you guys. It's gonna be helping you guys out, either if you wanna flip cars or if you're just gonna be buying good car deals in the future for yourself or for your family or whatever the case may be. But again, I'm only gonna be dropping it to the people that are getting the checklist. So make sure you sign up for that checklist and you're ready at the end of the month for something big. And then in the next part of this series, turning $1,000 to $100,000 we're going to be covering getting this car sold and then most likely I'm going to be trying to go to the auction to get the next car because this one took a little bit more time than I wanted but make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted when the video goes out so you don't miss it all right guys till next time peace